Okay, right, this video is about Lua scripts, so let's start by. Let us start. Hold down the menu button. And hold down the page button. Well, press the page button once. Go to scripts. There's something here called snake.lua. So, hold down the enter button and execute. So what is a Lua script? A Lua script is a program that is made to run on um, OpenTX transmitters, yes. So that's what the Lua script is. So basically, you can write any tiny program you want. Basically, you can run Snake on, on your Tyrannus or whatever OpenTX. Uh, Hmm. Okay, whatever. Or whatever OpenTX platform you have. Now, if you are running something with telemetry, ooh, whoop. if you're running something with telemetry, uh, I mean, sorry, if you're running a receiver with telemetry on it, something like a XSR, XSS, X. -S 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 4R or like a uh, R9, R9 Slim, R, uh, R9 Mini, R9, R9 whatever, you will be able to run Lua scripts and control your, and control your drone uh, and tune your drone to Lua scripts. Off to the side, I have my quad plug in. So it's the iFlight frame running an R9. Throttle warning. Right, that was dangerous. Okay, so it's a R um, iFlight frame, iFlight XL 5.5 lowrider frame, and uh, it's got an airbot flight controller with a Typhoon 32 ESCs. 4.1 ESC so basically I've already set it up so that it's on my third page so as you can see um, once set up it will you can you can tweak your pits you can tweak tweak your feet feed forward you can tweak your rates you can tweak throttle point attenuation you can tweak anti-gravity gain anti-gravity threshold you can even turn v bad compensation on and on or off v bad compensation is like uh, it changes your pits when your batteries are low i think so you can set up your gyro frequency uh, you can set up your gyro 2 frequency and uh, d shot or whatever motor protocol you're running you can set up your VTX and you can set up GPS which I don't so uh, this is these are pits for level flight or angle mode and yeah back to the first page so to change something you just uh, click on the enter button you know whatever turn it I'm, I'm happy with these pits and i've been using them and hold down the menu button in order to save and then you press enter and that saves so yeah so now to set this up Receiver still first connected. okay 
Okay, if you were good at programming, you could probably even write your own scripts. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you where you can download the Betaflight, uh, uh, Betaflight Lua scripts for your Tyrannus. Yeah, they're all the same, you know, X9, X10, whatever. So let's do that. Okay, so this is where you can get the better flight lower script. All you have to do is type in better flight lower scripts into your browser and go to the GitHub repository and download it through this. So I'm not going to bother doing that again because I already have done that. As you can see, this is version 1.1.0. Okay, right, so once you've downloaded your Betaflight Lua scripts, you just have to open the compressed raft uh, RAR file, zip file, and you open this folder, obj, and on my right hand side, you can see that I have the SD card already loaded into my computer. So basically, you just have to copy these three folders onto your SD card and that's it. I've already done it so I'm not gonna bother. So you can see PF Lua, PF Lua they're the same files. Right, they're already there so yeah, so once you have done that um, reinsert I mean eject eject your SD card from your computer and reinsert that into your uh, RC or radio controller or whatever your QX7 your X9D or whatever you're using so So this would be your SD card folder once you've copied that into your SD card folder This is what you see and um, The rest of it will be the same your scripts and sounds and Right so if you go into scripts folder you see a couple of new folders which is uh, this and these are all Lua script functions so once you've done that to set it up to run uh, Lua scripts you just well there's a couple of ways the one I like to use is uh, I could go into the display here and I'll set it all the stuff from the top so whichever model you have selected hold down the page button and you go to the display screen and here you can select uh, which screen you want to set it to I've set it to screen number three so once you have that you can go back out to the main page and uh, from there just press page once twice twice and you will activate your Lua script so basically uh, that's it uh, there's a lot more to Lua scripts um, it's a it's a whole but there's a lot of things you can do with Lua scripts go online on YouTube there are plenty of tutorial videos and yeah